All right, Graham. So when when she used when her answer to this was so mind boggling to me, she said, that's not my language. That's not the way I speak. That's not how I organize. Sounds to me like she has a problem with his tactics. She doesn't think that's an effective way uh, to get his message across. She did not say anything about the ideology that he was uh, espousing. Yeah, well, it's classic deflection, right? So what do you do when you get caught on live air? You try to you try to shift and play word games, like trying to make it seem like because she's this, you know, the, the the leader of the women's march. She tried to turn it into this, you know, don't don't judge me by the actions of a man, right? And so, but there was one thing that I agree with what she says. She says just because you attend certain things that people hold doesn't mean you agree with everything they say. Well, th that's exactly right, but it means you agree with most of what they say and you agree with the main principles of which they live their life or their narrative or their ministry, if you can call this guy's uh, words that he puts out and hate a ministry. Uh, no, you absolutely agree with the main staples of what he believes, which is, you know, death to Israel is one of the main, or Israel or Jews are termites, I believe he likes to say. Uh, right. I think, no. I think he even said at one point that white men are going down and that white people are of the devil and some kind of mutants. I mean, this, this guy is radical. He's bigoted. He's hateful. And generally, I'll actually, I'll actually accept your premise that you can go to an event where you don't agree with everything the person says, but generally when people do that, the first thing that they do is make sure, especially if they're a public figure with a public platform, they make sure exactly. that everyone who listens to them knows on which topics they do not agree with that speaker. So my question to her is how hard is it to condemn anti-Semitism? If you're up there, why don't you just say, I don't agree with everything. I appreciate what he does in the black community, but I think anti-Semitism is horrible. And I denounce that radical racist ideology. I mean, how hard is it to do that? Well, it shouldn't be very hard at all, but but I'll go even further. Uh, you know, okay, uh, how hard is it to condemn it? How hard is it to just say that you don't support a person that believes such terrible things in general, right? If if the roles were reversed and this was President Trump saying these things, I mean, the, the whole world would burn down in, in this type of situation. Or if any Republican came to a defense of statements like death to Israel, Jews are termites, white men are going down or of the devil, it, it just, it, it further goes to show that, that when the narrative doesn't support what they want, or the narrative does support what they want, they change their direction to make it seem like, oh, it's no big deal. Yeah, I was there. Sure, I was there. But I don't agree with everything this person says. Yeah, we're friends and we hang out, we have dinner with each other, we take pictures, but we don't know each but other. But how could all you possibly? How could you possibly think we have anything in common, even though we're best no, friends? No, I have nothing in common with this person. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, and, we just hang out. 